आई होप एवर इज फाइन दिस इज सर मनोज वेलकम टू कंप्यूटर क्लास आई हैव रिसीव योर आंसर्स यू रियली आर डूइंग यू वंडरफुल जॉब हाई फाइव टू ऑल नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्प्ले योर नेम जस्ट एंजॉय द क्लास दीज आर द आंसर्स सेंट बाय यू ऑल बाय ईमेल बाय व्हाट्सएप एंड हियर आर द स्टूडेंट्स नेम वेल डन स्टूडेंट्स really great job you all are doing during this lockdown keep watching keep learning don't worry those names are not here watch my previous videos and answer that after that you send to me so that in my next video i will display your name okay this topic so today we will discuss dvt uh, motherboard ports modem and uh, power supply so let's begin the class dvd digital versatile disk uh, it is a data storage device last time we discussed about cd today we will discuss about dvd and other secondary storage devices so it is a superior to a cd room in terms of its storage capacity it is a silver coated silver colored disk with a diameter of 4.75 A DVD has the capacity to store much more data than a CD-ROM. DVD store up to 4.7 GB. HD DVD, that is high definition DVD, can store 3.2 times as normal DVD. So this is a DVD data storage device. Next we will discuss power supply, that is SMPS. It is also known as SMPS, switched mode power supply. It is a small box placed at the back of a computer's cabinet. It is a power supply box that provides regulated power to the computer system. The main advantages of SMPS is that it activates the working of a computer at minimum power loss. So you might have seen back side of a computer's cabinet there is a power supply box. You can see in the picture. This is SMPS. the power supply box okay so this is smps the next hardware part is motherboard it is also known as the main circuit board or base board or system board it is a printed circuit board that provides a platform for various components or ics that is integrated circuits of a computer it allows the power allocation to the cpu ram and other hardware components of a computer so this is all about motherboards so motherboard is a system board or circuit board which is placed inside the uh, system box next we'll discuss about ports so ports are the connecting nodes to interface the peripheral devices with the processors they are also known as communication ports they act as a bridge between the external device and the cpu for data communication this is port this is the picture of motherboard so this is break time i do this activity i am coming within 1 minutes okay Let's begin the class. Different types of ports. There are three types of ports: serial ports, parallel ports, and USB ports. Let's discuss serial ports. 
It is used it to support. uses a single wire for communication. It takes much time to transfer data. Serial ports are usually available with 9 or 24 pins. Basically allow connections of mouse, modem, etc. This is a picture of serial port. Next is parallel port. This type of port is available with the 24 pins female connector and is capable to transmitting 8 bit signals at a time. That is, the bits travel parallel to each other. The transfer rate is 8 times faster than a serial port. This port is basically provided to connect CD writers, scanners, printers, and hard disk. Here is the picture of a parallel port. Next is USB port that is universal serial bus port. This port avoids pin configuration of the ports. This port is specially designed to connect printers, plotters, mouse, joystick, pen drive, digital camera etc. So this is all about USB port and this is the picture of a USB port. Next, we'll discuss about modem. It is also a hardware. A modem is a device that modulates outgoing digital signals from a computer or other digital device to analog signals. It also demodulates the incoming analog signals and converts to digital signals. So, modem is modulator and demodulator. Now, we'll discuss different types of modem. Number one, internal modem. Number two, external modem. Number three, USB modem. So first, internal modem. An internal modem is attached to the internal slot of the motherboard. These modems are categorized as full duplex and half duplex modem, which are used for fax and internet communication. They can also be used for data and voice communication system. So it is fixed inside the computer. So this is a picture of internal modem. Next we will discuss about external modem. It is a small box connected to the communication port of a computer. It works similar to the internal modem and it is placed outside the CPU box. This is a picture of external modem. The last one is USB modem. It refers to any type of data modern device which can be connected to a computer using the USB port. It is a portable device that looks similar to a USB flash drive but is a smaller in size. The USB modem don't require power but rest modem requires power. With this finally we have completed chapter 1. Here is the homework, the today's homework. <laughs> Do it and send me. I am waiting. <laughs>